hello first grade friends. I'm so excited you're joining me today on a really great lesson called two syllable compound words. Before we get started, I want to review a very important rule that we're going to talk about a lot in today's lesson. So let me get my blending board and come up a little bit closer so you can see this. So today in my blending board, I just have one letter right now. And I want to talk about a syllable, which is the beat in a word. And my syllable can have one sound in it. So I've got just one letter, one letter card here, which represents a sound. And this is the letter A. And if this was a syllable or a word, it would say A. Now, a syllable can also have two sounds. So I've added the letter T at the end. Let's sound this out. A T. At. Now, this is a syllable. It is the word. I am at school. So yes, it was a word. And this syllable only had two sounds. If I had all three letter cards up here, my beginning sound, my vowel, and my ending sound, then I would make this syllable or this word k, a, t, cat. So this syllable, which is a word, has three sounds. A syllable will never have more than three sounds. It can have one sound, it can have two sounds, it can have three sounds. Now, I'm gonna put this next letter, or I'm sorry, this next sound card in front of that C. Let's sound this out. Ch, a, t, chat. This is one syllable. It has three sounds. But how many letters were in this word? One, two, C, H, three, four. Four letters in one syllable. So a syllable can have more than three letters, but it will never have more than three sounds. All right, that's very important. That's a very important rule that we're gonna come back to a lot today in our lesson. So now that we've been doing our blending board and we've been making one syllable words, um, or sometimes we say they're not words, they're nonsense words, right? We say they're, yes, it's a word, Mrs. Borton, or no, it's not a word. We can start to look at two syllable words because we can start to put together one syllable and two syllables we can sound each syllable out and put them together to make a word. I'm gonna tap my camera real quick because sometimes the lighting gets a little messed up. So there we go. I want you to be able to see the smart board today because we're gonna talk about a compound word and I'm gonna teach you a little chant. You take a word, you take a word, you pound it together. It makes a new word, no spaces, all together. You're gonna to see me use my hands a lot today because we're gonna talk about one syllable, that's a word, and another syllable, that's a word, and when we put them together without any spaces, we're gonna be able to make a two-syllable big word, and we're gonna be able to figure out the meaning of that word because each of those small words help the, the compound word have meaning. So a compound word, you take a word, you take a word, you pound it together. It makes a new word, no spaces, all together. Let's take a look at a compound word. Cannot, cannot. Now if I couldn't read this bigger word, right? We're, we're kind of used to reading, sounding out words that have three sounds or three letters, maybe four letters sometimes. But this word has one, two, three, four, five, six, six sounds. That's because it's a two syllable word. And I would divide this word right down the middle. Later on this week, we're gonna be talking about a really great strategy called syllabication, where we figure out where to divide a two syllable word or a big word that has more than three sounds we're gonna figure out how to divide it so we can sound out one part and then the other part and then put them back together and figure out what that word is. But this word cannot starts off with can and 
It ends with the syllable n ought not. Can not. Can not. They go together and they make one word without any spaces. Cannot. Now the word can means to be able to do something and the word not means kind of a word no, right? So if you cannot do something, you are not able to do it. You cannot do it. So let's take a, what we're gonna do is take a look at each part of a compound word separately. We're gonna put them back together and we're gonna look at that compound word as one word that has two syllables. So here we go. I'm gonna erase this really quickly. All right, the first syllable in this compound word is s-a-n, sun. Uh, mm, sun. I know that word sun. It's what's in the sky that makes things warm during the day. Let's get rid of that syllable and bring out the next syllable. All right, let's sound it out together. S -e -t. If you're watching this video, you should be doing that with me. Let's do it again. S -e -t. Set. Let's bring that first syllable back. Sun. Set. Sunset. If we say it fast, we get the word sunset without any spaces. So let's take a picture, or let's look at a picture of a sunset and put meaning to that. A sunset is when the sun is setting below the horizon. That's the sunset, when it's setting below the horizon. Sunset. Let's do another one. To bring out the first syllable, we've got p. Pig, 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 pig. Oh, I know that word. I know what a pig is on a farm. Let's get rid of that first syllable. Let's do the second syllable. P, e, n, pen. Let's do it together. Pig, pen, pig, pen, pig, pen. Without any spaces, it looks like this compound word, pig, pen. Isn't it fun to read big words? I'm getting excited about this lesson. Pig pen. A pig pen, let's put meaning to it. A pen is a fenced in area that keeps animals kind of contained in a place. You might see that on a farm, a fenced in area. And the pig pen is the pen that holds the pigs. Awesome. Let's do another one. First syllable. Bull. Ah. P. Lap. I know what my lap is right here on my legs is my lap if I sit down I have a lap get rid of that first syllable let's look at the second syllable t -a -p top hmm. lap top laptop say it very fast and you have laptop without any spaces the whole word is laptop a laptop is a type of computer that gets its name from being able to pull it off your desk and actually sit it on your lap. A laptop computer. Yeah, so that's your laptop. Let's go on to the next one. The first syllable. Let's sound it together. Sound it out together. B, A, T, bat. Hmm. Let's do the second syllable. M, A, N. Now remember, a and N together, sounds like the A sounds like you're holding your nose. Man, man, let's put it together. Bat, man, Batman. Oh, I think I hear it. Batman, wait a second. Why is this B uppercase? Why did I change that to an uppercase letter for Batman? Did you say it's a proper noun, darling? It is, it's a proper noun. It's the name of the person. So, Batman is a proper noun. All right, there he is, Batman. Let's go on. Ooh, let's sound this out. Z-I-G. Z-I-G. Zig. Let's do the next syllable. Z-A-G. Zag. Hmm. Put that 
together. Zig, zag, zigzag. Are you saying the compound word zigzag? If you did, you were correct. A zigzag is a line that zigs and zags. All right, let's go on. Ooh, do you notice something? Remember I said a syllable can have one or two or three sounds. This syllable actually just has two sounds. It's missing that first sound and that's okay. Here we go. We're starting with the vowel. Uh, p, uh, uh. Okay, let's go on. We'll do the next syllable. S, e, eh, t, set. Hmm, let's put that together. Up, set, upset, upset. Oh, upset. Now, some people might be thinking of upset, that feeling you get when you're mad or disappointed. But also, if you have a glass of milk and it's setting, it's you have set it on the table and then you spill it, it gets upset. Oh, and I used the picture. I didn't use the spilled milk. I used the picture of when you're kind of feeling angry like the angry bird there, upset. All right, let's go on. Here's the next syllable. B, A, F. Oh, this syllable has four uh, letters, but only three sounds because we had a digraph. Remember the digraph, two letters that come together. You cannot pull them apart. They make a new sound. B, A, F. B, A, F. Do the next syllable, t, a, uh, b, tub. Oh, I think I hear it. Let's do it together. Bath, tub, a little faster. Bath, tub, all together. Bath, tub, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just read a word that has seven letters in it. Good for you, bath, tub. Don't be afraid of these big words. We're going to figure out how to divide them later on this week and read each syllable separately. So a bathtub is the tub that allows you to take a bath in it. Yeah, you fill it up with water or sudsy soap and you take a bath in the tub. All right, here we go. Let's sound it out. K -a -t. Cat. Here's our next syllable. Ooh, I see another digraph, right? Two letters that come together to make one sound. Let's sound this out. I -sh fish. Hmm. Let's put it together. Cat, fish, catfish, catfish. Did you get catfish? Seven letters, guys. You just read a word with seven letters, but it just had two syllables. Cat, and I'm over here, fish, catfish. Oh, I'm so proud of you. All right, that, there's a catfish. It's a fish that has those funny whiskers that make it look like a cat, a fish that looks like a cat. Remember, compound words, you can put meaning using those two words, you can put meaning to that word. A fish that looks like a cat. And that's it for, oh, no, nope. we got one more. All right, let's sound it out. K -a -sh. Cash. Let's do our second syllable. B, A, X, box. Hmm. Let's say it together. Cash, box. Say it a little faster. Cash box. Cash box. Wow, that is a big word. Cash box. Cash box is the box where you keep your money or your cash. A cash box. Wow. And that is the last word there, the last two syllable word. This was a great lesson. Be ready later on this week, we're going to do some syllabication, which was gonna be kind of new for you, um, where we're gonna divide our words into the two syllables, read one syllable, read the other, and then put it back together and say the whole two syllable word. Thanks for working with me today. I look forward to seeing you later on this week. Bye.